So at the beginning of the film, we see a girl. She comes in the elevator of a building. Actually, she came here to play a game, the elevator game. She had heard a lot about it on the internet. Now she goes to the elevator. First she goes to the fourth floor. Then without coming out, she goes to the second and sixth floor. Then again to the second. She was recording all this on her phone. When she goes to the tenth floor, the elevator lights started to blink. Then again when she comes to the fifth floor, at this time, she had to keep her eyes closed. And it is forbidden to look behind. All this was a part of this game. When she comes down, the elevator doors were open. Now she was scared to see everything. That's why she opened her eyes. But she sees everything was completely normal. Now she again to go to the first floor, she presses the number one. So the surprising thing here was that instead of going to the first floor, the elevator reaches the tenth floor. When the elevator door opens, that girl sees the building was completely changed. She felt like she had reached somewhere else. In some other world, that's why suddenly, she realizes that someone is behind her. When she looks back, there was a scary witch behind her. That girl was very scared to see her, and screams loudly. With this, this scene is cut here. Now we look at a group in the story ahead. Who used to make videos on scary and dangerous things on YouTube. In their group, a manager, a host whose name is Chris, a girl with him, who used to record the video in the camera, her name was Chloe. And along with her, an employee of their group. A boy and a girl who used to help Chloe. Their group was working together from school to now. The manager tells everyone that we have to find good videos to earn money. Along with that, he introduces everyone to a boy, who wanted to work with them without money. The manager calls that boy inside. His name was Ryan. He tells them that he will help us. Now everyone talks to him a little. Everyone was talking together that they should make videos on which topic. Here Ryan says, why don't we play the elevator game, about which a lot of things are famous these days. But everyone knew about this game. That's why Chris says, I think this idea is a flop. Ryan says, no, this idea will really work. And do you know that a few days ago, a girl played this game. This game is played in a sequence according to the rules of this game. When the game was completed, it is said that the girl disappeared. The witch who lived on the fifth floor took her with her. But the girl he was telling about was the same girl whom we saw at the beginning of the story. This means that the girl disappeared after the game. Now anyway, Chloe shows Ryan the whole office and talks to him nicely. After a while, the manager comes and tells everyone that we have to make videos soon or else we can have a big loss. That's why everyone likes Ryan's idea soon. The manager says okay. We will record the elevator game video tonight. But Chris was repeatedly telling them not to do this. But no one listens to him. The manager says, anyway today is a holiday, so the office in that building will be closed. That's why we go there and record the video at night. Everyone reaches that building and starts setting their cameras. This was the same building that we saw at the beginning of the story. Chloe and Ryan were talking together. Chloe was researching on this fifth floor woman witch. Now their whole setup was arranged. The video starts and first of all they tell that we will go to different floors, different stories. And will complete this game according to the rules. They also tell that if they complete this game, then they will reach another world. They will get the witch on the fifth floor, who will take them to her world. But all this will happen with them. When they play this game properly. If they do not play this game properly, then she will kill us mercilessly. They believe that the witch lives in a red world. Anyway, after telling everything, they start playing this game. First of all, they know about the game rules. They knew that they had to go to the floors in the order of 2, 4, 6 and 5. During the game, they have to keep their eyes closed. And if they look back or open their eyes, then the witch will kill them. Now Chris, Chloe and their cameraman go to the elevator. Ryan and the rest of the people while staying outside, were going to record the video in the cameras. They had connected their cameras to their cameras. Chloe and Ryan according to the order of numbers, went start playing the game. When they reached the fifth floor, the lights started blinking. After a while, everything was fine. Now when they pressed the number of the first floor again. Then instead of going down, the lift was going up. As we saw in the beginning of the story, but when the elevator stops at the last floor, then actually it was called by a businessman. Anyway, they came back to the first floor, where they did not get anything. Along with playing the game, they also wanted to record the witch. But nothing happened like this. That's why everyone talks about going. 
Ryan says, listen to me, we should try again. Maybe we'd made a mistake, but Chris wanted to go from here. Now Ryan stops him and after bothering him, says that maybe he is scared. He knew that girl who disappeared in the elevator. He is afraid that maybe her soul will catch him. Means the same girl from the beginning of the story. Everyone is surprised to hear this. Ryan tells everyone that yes, she was my sister. He tells that after my sister's disappearance, when her laptop was checked. There were messages from Chris in it. He promised my sister that he will put this video of her game on his YouTube channel. My sister was a big fan of yours. She liked you a lot. Look, I am not accusing anyone. I just want you to help me a little. Hearing this, Chris started laughing. Do you think your sister is stuck in that which is red world? Ryan was angry about this. Then the building guard comes and takes them out of there. Everyone went to their own paths from there. Chloe tells Ryan that you should have told us everything before. Okay, I agree. I understand your sorrow. But it was not good. Chloe also left to go to her house. Her employee boy who helped her. Was also waiting for the bus at the bus stop. The manager had come to the office with the employee girl. We see Chloe who comes to her house. As soon as she reached her building, she could hear the sound of music. She had also heard this sound in the elevator building. Then she gets a call from Chris. But due to the lack of signals, both were not able to hear each other's voice properly. Chris was in his house building. Then he sees red light in front of him. Suddenly the same elevator which came from behind and killed him. And takes his soul with her. Actually, Chris made a joke of her world. Because of which she was angry. Ryan was also very worried alone. Ryan was thinking about his sister. So now he decides that he will play this game alone. So that he can find out about his sister. When he goes and plays the elevator game according to the rules. Then he really reached the world of red. That world was just like our world. It was covered with red. Then the witch comes behind him. Ryan was hidden from her. In the office, the employee girl was with her manager. She says that her camera is left in the elevator. We have to go to that building. After going there, they found the camera. That girl starts playing games with her manager. When they reach the last floor, then suddenly the red light comes. That which killed the manager and the girl mercilessly. But all this is recorded in that camera. That they came to brought. Ryan was hiding from the witch in the world of red. He was waiting for the elevator. So that when it comes up, he can go back to his world. Actually, it was happening in such a way, when a person plays an elevator game in the real world. Then the witch goes to the real world. Leaving her world of red, it was still the same. The witch was not in her world. Taking advantage of this, Ryan, sits in the lift and comes back to his real world. Ryan finds the fallen camera of the manager and the employee girls. He quickly calls Chloe, who was sitting in her house. She was trying to find out about her sister on the internet. Then the red light comes in her house, which was telling about the arrival the witch of that elevator. Then she gets a call from Ryan. Before that the witch attacked Chloe. She was busy listening to the call. Then the witch saw the opportunity and attacked. Anyway, now she goes away from there. The witch killed Chris, the manager and that girl. Because somewhere they'd made mistakes. So why was she after Chloe? Did Chloe also make a mistake during the game? Or was she connected to her world? Ryan tells Chloe on the call. Meet me soon we're all in danger. I want to show you something. There, the employee boy was sitting on the bus stop. He also feels strange things. He also calls Chloe. Chloe asked both of them to come to her office. The employee boy takes salt while going. He thinks that the salt circle might help them to save them from the witch. After reaching the office, Ryan shows Chloe the same camera, in which the video of the manager and the girl was recorded. When she sees the video, she says that she'll call the police. But why do I believe you, I don't know. Ryan tells her, believe me, I've gone to that red world. When both of them came down, the employee boy made a salt circle. He tells them that when our game was ended, we thought that nothing happened. Actually, the door of the red world opened at that time. That is still open. That's why the witch is after us. We've to close that door. Chloe also tells them that I've researched a lot. It came to know that a girl was locked in a lift by her friends in a joke. Later, the friends of that girl got busy in their party and forgot her. In this way, she was locked there for six days. The lights there were also damaged. One day, she died mercilessly after getting under the elevator. The stories of this game started since then. Now, she's become a powerful soul, who takes people to her world. Hearing this all, Ryan says, To close the door of the other world, we need to play that game again. Chloe wasn't still believing this all. She thinks that these all must be just tales. 
Meanwhile, the same soul comes there. She was about to come close. After coming closer, she mercilessly kills the employee boy. Seeing this, Ryan and Chloe run. They again come to the same building to play the game. So they could close the door of that world. While playing the game, they reached that world. Ryan sees the shadow of his sister there. Chloe calls him, Ryan we to go back, hurry up. She isn't your sister, the witch wants to trap us. Let's go, Chloe takes Ryan to the lift with her. When they press number one to go down, they again came up. Chloe understands that she won't let them go easily. She was trying to distract them, from which Chloe's eyes were opened. She killed Chloe. She takes Ryan with her into her red world. Ryan was dead or alive. No one knows. Next, we see a girl in the same elevator, who came to play this game. She was narrating the story of Chloe and her friends. About she told that all the friends together played the game. Then they disappeared. Even their dead bodies were not found. As the girl begins to press the elevator's button to play the game. We can see the hand of that witch. Who came in her cursed elevator to make her new prey. Her hand was on the button, the film ends with this.